I've been intending to make this video for a couple of days now. So yeah, today we are going to be talking about two third party Roblox applications that seem to be having a few problems. The first one I'm going to show you guys is currently having the most problems. So we're going to cover that right away. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, the Roblox FPS unlocker seems to be getting picked up by a lot of antivirus software. And pretty much this antivirus software on people's computers is classing FPS unlocker as a serious threat. Now this doesn't make much sense. FPS Unlocker was made by a trusted guy and it has not been updated in around four or five months. So let's try and figure out what's happening. I first heard about this over on Twitter because people were tweeting out is FPS Unlocker a virus? Then I had this guy send me a message saying FPS Unlocker gave me a virus. Other people were getting quite angry like this guy who was swearing. He was like bro did my Roblox FPS Unlocker got hacked or something. So I wanted to get to the bottom of this. I wanted to find out exactly what was happening. So I tweeted out and I said is anyone else currently having problems with Roblox FPS Unlocker? Because I noticed, right, so many people were just tweeting out saying it was a virus. It was coming up on people's Windows Defender saying hack tool win 32 game hack, like what the heck is this? It also said the threat was high, which just sounds insane. And yeah, like I was saying, loads of people replied to me. They were saying they were downloading it for themselves, for their brother. They were trying to open it and it said the exact same thing. It was saying it was a virus. Like this was getting insane. This message right here, like I said, was coming up on so many people's Windows Defenders and other antivirus software. So I thought I should probably try it out for myself. So right here guys on my desktop, I actually have a file folder where I keep FPS Unlocker zip files. So every time I want to run one, I can just open it. Now these two versions I have right here, they are actually old versions because every time I try and open up the new one, my antivirus deletes it. I'm not even joking guys. If I right click on uh, my Windows Defender and just go to view security dashboard, then if I just show you guys in my protection history. Look at this. This is my FPS unlocker. Every time I try and start it when I want to play Roblox because obviously I want to play the game with more than 60 FPS, my antivirus deletes it. This was driving me insane. So many people started checking the code. They were trying to find out what is going on. Like what is wrong with Roblox FPS unlocker because it should be safe. Well, it turns out guys, it currently has a problem. No, it doesn't actually have a virus. It's a false positive. So basically what's happening, right, is it's coming up in many people's antivirus software basically saying you know it's got problems it's trying to inject something into roblox but as we all know it's not it's just trying to increase the fps so this is something that's very annoying it can happen with all types of software and honestly i really hope the dev behind this plugin can like update it or sort it out because i don't really want to have to turn off windows defender like that's just annoying for now guys that's the only way to fix it which kind of sucks i really hate turning off my antivirus software i honestly don't want to do that so i'm just going to play roblox about it. But if you really want to fix this, you can do what Mr. Booshot said. He said he was having problems. He turned off Windows security, downloaded FPS Unlocker, restarted his PC, and now it works fine. The thing is though, guys, Mr. Booshot here, he doesn't want to be using his computer without antivirus. Like, you're just asking to get hacked or, you know, to install something dodgy at that point. So I hope he does re-enable it. But yeah, that's literally the only way around it, which does suck. Now, if you guys want to turn it off for yourself, what you'd do is go into Virus and Threat Protection. You'd want to go to Manage Settings. You'd want to to turn it real-time protection off. Now, I'm not going to do that, but obviously you can if you really want to get Roblox FPS Unlocker working. I use Windows Defender. It's very useful. It saved me a couple of times. So yeah, I'm not going to turn it off just in case because I'm very cautious of this kind of stuff. But if you want to try, that's how you can fix it. There's also a whole section on the Microsoft website that shows you how to temporarily turn it off. So like I said, do this at your own risk. I would only say do this if you definitely know what you're doing. This is really annoying though because I find Roblox FPS Unlocker are so useful and literally every YouTuber uses it. Myself, Creekcraft, I think Kaneko Kitten uses it as well, Chase Rooney, like we all use this. So the fact it's just getting disabled and you know we can't install it, our PCs are telling us it's a virus, it's very frustrating. I want to show you guys here because there is a virus total link and yeah look at this, four security vendors and one sandbox flag this file as malicious even though it's not. So this is simply why so many people's PCs are deleting their Roblox FPS unlocker. I actually bet my PC won't even let me download it. Let me try. Let me click on the zip file. Yeah, see, look at this. Couldn't download. Virus detected. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. My Roblox is going to be so laggy now. It was made by a guy called Austin, right? I don't know if he has a Twitter or something. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping he can find a way around this. I don't really know if he can. But if you guys were worried or you were thinking FPS Unlocker was hacked or something, yes, I just want to confirm it's not hacked. It's still safe. It's just our PC. PC 
indices seem to be picking it up as a false positive. Moving on guys, yes, I did say we would be talking about two third-party Roblox apps in today's video. So the second one is the Roblox extension called BT Roblox. Now this one is incredibly popular, 3 million users, like that is a lot for a Roblox extension. But the thing is guys, this extension is giving some users a bit of a weird pop-up message. So a couple of you guys encountered this recently where it says BT Roblox making Roblox better has requested additional permissions and it's asking you to read and change your data on a number of websites. Now it gives you two options, you can deny or allow it. I think if you deny you can still use it but then it will give you this sort of like red bar thing at the top which just stands out and looks a bit annoying. So yeah a few people are getting a bit suspicious over this. They're thinking hang on what's going on like is this a virus or something you know they simply don't know. So personally for myself I've never encountered this and I don't know why. All I want to say guys is make sure you've got the genuine version of BT Roblox installed or better Roblox. Obviously if you have a fake one delete it straight away. I'll leave a link to the real one down below in this video's description. To be fair though I guess this message could be something genuine. I mean if you think about it BT Roblox does need to change and modify our information on Roblox. I don't know why it says a number of sites though. That's a bit strange. Maybe Google would add that to everything which probably makes sense but we know on the Roblox website it changes our page layout. It adds like you know pounds and dollar signs next to our Robux so we can see how much it costs in like you know real money. So it definitely does modify quite a bit of stuff. Obviously the avatar shop settings for BT Roblox are very good where you can sort of like wear accessories just by hovering over them in one second. I love this feature. Better Roblox is such a simple plugin. Honestly it's got to be my favorite one. But yeah these pop-ups with these sort of like red alert banners they are definitely a bit concerning but I wouldn't worry too much if you get one. Like I said guys I'm 99% sure it's safe but if you don't trust it I guess you don't have to use it anyway. So there we have it guys that's all of the news about Roblox FPS Unlocker and BT Roblox. I know quite a few of you guys had questions so hopefully I answered everything. I just want to say in conclusion both of them seem to be on fine. There's just a few bugs and glitches that can hopefully be patched and fixed maybe in the next update. If you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.